<laughs> so, it's winter here in Australia, and in winter, in Melbourne, it rains. When it rains, the air gets really humid. You're thinking, who cares? Why, do you, why am I telling you this? Well, it's because when the air gets really humid, refractory concrete absorbs moisture. So if you roll up, just turn up and say, I'm going to do a smelt today. I'm going to cast this damn piece. And you turn the thing on, you steam crack the bastard. So, um, that's what I did. So, steam, if you didn't know, well, water, water uh, expands to about a thousand times. Everyone quotes a thousand times. I'm, it's just too neat a number. I'm, I'm going to figure out one day what it actually expands to. A thousand times more its volume. So, if you have one liter of um, water, it'll expand to a thousand liters of steam. So, you get a little bit of moisture in the, in the refractory, and it just goes and cracks it. So I've got a big crack on the side and I'm... It's big, it goes all the way through. Uh, it's holding together but I've got to, I've got to do it new. Um, it's not safe, not with molten metal. So I'm building a furnace, a brand new one. And this one is going to be bigger, better and nasty than the last one. This should be a high temperature going up to possibly 1650. Um, the refractory is going to be able to get to that point. I've done that before as an industrial chemist, uh, a long time, 15 years ago now, working for Ferro Corporation. So um, I think the burner is going to be around ability to generate 1850. This is all Celsius, so uh, 1850 is about 3,300 Fahrenheit. It's quite hot. It's quite hot. You see that stuff, and it, it sunburns your face. Um, I'm not joking, I've had sunburn from the back of my neck from standing behind it when it's that hot on a commercial level and I got sunburn. So, um, yes, this should be a beast. The, uh, the whole thing will basically not really go above uh, 1300 Celsius, but I want to be able to do some glass stuff later, uh, maybe. Um, so I'm making it so that the main body of it is actually be able to take the hard hitting uh, 1650. Not, yeah, that, anyway. Um, it's going to have a, an oil burner, which is from cooker oil, you know, fries, and use compressed air to spray into the furnace. Nice big kind of flame. Flame should be about that big, that long. So, that is going to be my burner pipe. Look at that. It's huge. All the parts are coming from the United States. What a pleasure that was to get all in. And this will work really well. This will allow me to get the kind of quality I want and all sorts of other things in relation to cast iron, non-ferrous, basically almost anything other than titanium. Um, maybe I'll do a video on why I can't do titanium in this one day. You need induction, levitation. Actually, the metal levitates up and... Anyway, let's, let's get on with it. So, this... Is my Morgan Crucible that I want to specifically do because it's the right size, carries about two and a half litres of um, aluminium predominantly, because it is really predominant aluminium smelter. The other, the capacity for the rest is not so much. Um, kind of overkill, huh? 1300. So, the, um, this is my design constraint because it allows. Actually, why don't I explain this to you all in CAD? Let's do that. Um, that's it. Thanks very much. This is the introduction. This will be a whole series of videos. There should be about five of them, maybe more, maybe less. I'm not sure. I haven't decided that yet. But it will be fun, and you'll see some cool things. So tune in for the rest of them.